This is the tutorial for the quad draw on your own and all of the requirements are listed here in Canvas so make sure you're referring to this before you turn in your assignment. Now in almost every circumstance you're going to want to have a side view of the animal that you choose so that you can do the drawing easier that way. In most cases front view won't work very well so side view is best. So once you've decided on which picture you're going to do and you've saved it as a JPEG, you can go ahead and just create a plane. And then you're going to want to be in your four view so that you can rotate the plane. And I just like to rotate it a little bit so that in my channel I can see which one. So negative 43, so I just need to do negative 90 to have it perfectly straight in side view. Then you assign your new material. Doesn't really matter what it is. There's Blin. I'll just call this my animal image. And then in the color, you choose the checker and you go to file. And mine's been acting up. Yours shouldn't do this. As I just click on it again, try it again, file. See, it always works the second time for me. Yours probably won't give you any trouble. So now you need to go to wherever you saved your picture. Now I have to remember where I saved the one I was planning on using. So, all right, so you choose your picture and go ahead and open it. There it is. If you press, press 6 in the side view, you can see it. It's going to come in the wrong direction, almost guaranteed. So you go to this tab called Place 2D Texture. And you find your rotate frame and you just rotate it around until it's the direction you want it to be. Let's say 270 is the exact number for mine and probably for yours as well. If you accidentally clicked away, just remember that when it says color and you've got this little thing, you can click on that and it'll take you to your place 2D texture. Okay? So now I'll just go ahead and look at it in side view. And you want to make your picture live. So if you right click and hold, you can make live. And you go to your mesh tool, tools and choose quad draw. Now I like to stick with two legs to start so I'm going to ignore these back two and only deal with the front two. Remember you want to try to make it as smooth as possible so you do your four points first then you hold down shift and then from there you should be able to just get by with doing just two points. So you don't want to do tons and tons of squares, but you don't want too few either. So I'll do at least two in the head of my animal. And remember, as you get smaller, it might be tricky, so if you need to, you can zoom in. And you might realize that, well, I think I added too many. Yeah, that's got four, so, and I can just move things as I go if I realize that I made things too big. So, just rearrange. You also cannot worry too much about the big details, like, I don't think I'm going to model the ears in, because I'm going to extrude those later. So you just get kind of the basics. And I might have honestly chosen kind of a difficult animal to do. And you might realize that as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and complete mine and come back to you in a minute. All right, so there's the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just one, I think, for the open part of the mouth. And some of these things you just have to guess with a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. See how they're, they're connected, but they're in this one point. So you don't want any parts to be not connected completely, but I just have these two. So now I can kind of work towards connecting these to the rest of the head. Once again, I did say I'm just going to ignore the ears because it'll be easier for me to add those later. 
Oopsie. Don't be afraid to control Z if you accidentally mess up. And zooming in when you get into the smaller areas can also help a lot too. So I'm just gonna, whoops, not that one. See, this one's proving to be tricky. There we go. And once again, a little on the small side, so I'll just move these to make them expand up. That way I can connect it there. Now I do have too many here, so I'll have to find a good way to connect these because they aren't connected right now. So if you get in a tricky spot, you can always ask me for help and we'll see if we can kind of figure out a good fix together. Because you don't want to have any holes. Oops, I didn't want to add that one. Yeah, I might need to add an edge loop. So if I do control, I can add this to add another one. And that will let me put that there. And then I can connect. There we go. There you go. So it is better to take a little extra time to try to get it right. Now the legs are much more simple. Just connect one of these bottom squares and then work your way down. Same thing, I'll do that with this leg. So mm, I really kind of put too many at this point. So I'm just going to move things around to kind of round it out a little bit. And this will be the point that I work down to. Okay. So you can still, even if you kind of mess up, you can fix things. All right, so I'm going to go finish mine, and you do the same for yours. Okay, here's my completed animal. I'm going to press Q to quit the quad draw tool, and then just go ahead and set him to object mode. Now, right now your animal is part of the plane that you just, the plane we created. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to Windows, Outliner, and I'm going to find plane and just delete it. And that leaves me with just this. Now, if you find that you want that plane back because you want to use it for reference, well, then you just make, make a new one, assign existing material, and there it is. And I, now it's not connected to my what I'm working on, so I can actually just kind of use it for a reference if I want to while I work. So you will extrude to give it width. And then you start moving things around. So from here, it's very much more has to do with what you chose personally for your animal. The basics though, of course, are inserting edge loops, which is mesh display. Or, I'm sorry, it's in Mesh Tools. Insert Edge Loop. That's going to allow you to add more lines. So, for example, one of the earlier things I'll want to do is look at it in front view and insert edge loops to make my legs. Let me remember Q to quit. Then I can go into face mode and click and drag. You want to make sure you're looking at it in different views so you didn't get too much. See, I deleted probably, I went up one too high in my selections. Because I don't want to get rid of anything in the tail, for one thing. Then I can press delete so those faces are gone. Oops, see, look, I accidentally had one selected. That's why it's so important that you are checking from different perspectives so you don't delete something you shouldn't. Okay, so I can delete. And then you go ahead and you go into edge mode. And remember that you have to choose edges that have kind of a partner across from them. So you shift click. And then you would go to Mesh Tools, or maybe it's Mesh Display now. They move things around, so Edit Mesh. Bridge. Make sure to set your divisions to zero so that it's just one piece. 
So you would just go along and do that for every single hole that exists in your animal now that you cut out those faces. Remember that once you've extru once you've cut things up, you can go ahead and start, you know, I can extrude to make my ears. Kind of shrink them in a little bit. And then then I'll select them separately to move them apart. And you start doing your little details. Remember, you can go into edge mode to select edges to make it so your animal's a little less boxy by moving things over and then maybe down a little bit. See, now it's a little more rounded. I mean, there's a really boxy side, there's the slightly rounded. It still needs a lot of work, but it's closer. I probably should have brought that one in too, to be honest. Oops. Control Z is never a bad thing. There we go. So you do things like that. You can do it on the bottom. And instead of, you know, now you bring it up. Oh, I still had that top part selected. Oops. Make sure you're watching what other parts are doing as you work on your projects. You should also like the lasso tool. So if I go to vertex mode, and I lasso, use the lasso tool around my tail. I can then use the scale tool to, you know, maybe bring it in. In fact, I think I need these ones as well. Now that I've got all these vertices selected, I'll just go ahead and use scale to bring the tail in so it's a little more the shape that a tail would be. And then just use the different modes. Remember, W is move. You can, if you have two on the exact same side that you want to move, you can actually use scale and scale just both of them in at the same time, and it's kind of like you're moving them in. Just make sure that you're looking at things from different angles as you work, because then you'll realize that some things that you change don't look as good now that you've done adjustments. So then you just kind of move and make edits as you go. All right, so ask me if you need any help. But those are the basics. If you do get to a point where inserting an edge loop doesn't work, it's not in the right place, you do have the multi-cut tool. I would be careful with this one. Don't use it unless you absolutely have to. But you can take... Like I could go here and then go across and now it splits that in, in half, okay? Obviously you don't want to do those sort of things unless you really need it. But just in case some things aren't working quite your way, you can do that. Make sure you are looking, okay? You are going to submit your original 2D picture, so you'd submit that picture of the fox. Make it as let, not boxy as you possibly can. You are required to have an eyes, mouth, nose, and feet, at least. If it doesn't have feet, it's not a complicated enough an animal. So no fish, no snakes. Sorry. Make sure you're changing the proportion of your head, tail, things like that. It shouldn't all be one width. And then you have to make sure to color your animal. So the body, the eyes, the nose, all need to be different colors. And then depending on what you chose, maybe there's other things that you want to change colors. Then for extra credit, if you want, you can make like some ground and the sky so that your animal is actually in an environment instead of just in the black abyss that is Maya. So there you go. Have fun.